Hey guys. Just gonna roll into this thing real quick. Um, so, yeah, we are, um... We are continuing through the lore through of Dark Souls 1, and we are in Anne Orlando. Um, and I am not resting at the bonfire. Might as well just uh, continue on from here. And uh, we're just going to take care of the Great Hall, and then we're going to take care of, at least the way I'd like to say, we're going to take care of Ornstein and Smo. But first, a little visit to our friend. Now, as I say, we don't really have any reason to believe so, but I think that it's possible, maybe likely, that this is the blacksmith deity that we heard so much about in the slabs. I mean, he is in the, you know, the city of gods. I mean, he's a giant, but other than that, I'm not sure there's anything physically here that would indicate that he is, you know, a god, but he is a blacksmith of the gods, so I don't know. And he has the hawk ring back here. The hawk ring is interesting. So we have the Wolf Ring. We know that that was granted to Atorius, one of the Four Knights of Gwyn. The Hawk Ring, one of the special rings granted to the Four Knights of Gwyn. The Hawk Ring belonged to ha Hawkeye Goth, who led the Great Archers. Boost bow range so that arrows fly like they were shot by Go's Great Bow, which took down high flying dragons. So just a little bit more about Go, Goth. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting that uh, the giant blacksmith has it. There's a reason for that, but uh, we'll get to that later. What's up, man? Who are you? Forge your weapons. He's got a lot of cool stuff, so let's read about it. I mean, A, he's got Titanite Shard and large Titanite Shard, although this is not the cheapest we can get it, but it's certainly a good resource. But he does have that giant's halberd, and he does have the giant shield for sale. Plus, he has the actual stuff. But let's read this. Great shield made of bronze and marcasite, used by giant sentinels of Anorlando. Marcasite, or white iron, is effective against non-physical damage. But as the shield is designed for the giant sentinels, its weight is unbearable. And I know I said there's no lore on anything but um there's never any lore on arrows but now we're finally at a place where there probably will be so let's read these so here's the moonlight arrow arrow granted to those bound by the covenant to the dark sun gwendolyn lord gwyn's last born moonlight arrows glow silver and inflict magic damage hmm. red feather arrows of the lord's hunters their long range makes them effective for sniping. Lightning Bolt. Special bolts imbued with lightning crafted by the giant blacksmith of Anne Orlando. The giant blacksmith has never seen a crossbow, but remembers the specification of the bolts requested by ancient warriors. Cool. Oops. Always back out. Alright. Giant Helm. Made from ancient brass, it also offers protection versus non-physical attacks, but due to its giant size, it's extremely heavy for humans and impedes stamina recovery. And obviously he can do all the things that a normal blacksmith can do. He can level up, he can modify, but he can only modify certain things. So he can, without, he doesn't, we don't need to give him any 
Um, I mean, we do need to give him one ember, but we don't need to give him any for lightning. And then he does this thing where he goes to, like, he brings, he, he can craft boss weapons. Um, and then he can D, D ascend things too. Uh, what I would really like is if we could see, like, Chaos Blade, tar you know, Tin Dark Moon Catalyst, all this stuff, before, you know, <laughs> instead of having to craft it. Um, I'll just do a, a, a thing where I, you know, I upgrade enough weapons and have all the souls I need to, you know, create these. I won't worry too much about this now, but I'll do some farming off screen to, so that we can get all these and get the final stories on all these things. But let's talk to him, see what he has to say. Tis no good, but forge very good. I have any time. Talk. Tis no know everyone all. Sorry, I skipped over that because I thought it might have been the same. But you, friend, you talk. I no talk, but happy. I like how they specify that. You talk, I will not talk, but I'm still happy. But you, friend, you talk, I no talk, but happy. I love him. He's so cool. So, he'll say more things as we go on, but for now, that's all he says. I'm hoping that we can get one of these spears um, so we can learn a little bit about these guys without me just telling you about them, but um, yeah, people are <laughs> um, uh, kindling bonfires a lot too, so get a lot of good stuff open this shortcut. Um, I can't remember what that is. I'm sure it's just a soul. Maybe it's Titanite. I mean, you're only here once. I mean, why not? Fight these silly guys. But yeah, these... Oh, gosh. These guys are chaos demons, actually. So these guys are brand new to Anne Orlando. Like, they, uh, you know, the Chaos Demons were birthed after Gwyn linked the fire. And so, I think this guy will always fall off. Oh my god. Yeah, like, I don't think I've ever killed that guy. <laughs> He probably dropped some super amazing weapon. Alright. Yeah, that was nothing. Titanite chunk. I mean, come on! We'll get plenty of those. Um, yeah, so... They're chaos demons. Um, not associated with fire, really. They're associated with lightnings. But... Um, yeah, they you know, we'll get a little bit lower. Hopefully we'll be able to I think we might be able to get their weapons from Shiva. If not, it might be nice to farm them. Don't fall. All right. That's going to be a yeah. Do we do we get one? Okay. This is not very easy to get one and not the other. Because, like, by the time we go down here, I think we get both, but... Oh, no! <sighs> that is Wrath of the Gods. That's a powerful miracle. Oh, good. One fell down. <sighs> I thought I could get under his legs. 
Okay. I'm just gonna continue to go up here so I don't die. I guess I don't need to kill these guys. Well, I mean, I wanna I wanna summon Solaire. I probably won't summon Solaire because I'm probably gonna try to kill Smo first. When you summon someone, it's like it doesn't even matter. So I'm just gonna go in, whatever. YOLO. Um. Oh. These will never work. But if he does, great. So yeah, these are the famous Hornstein and Smo. We got Smo down there. Hornstein comes from above. And Ornstein is a Knight of Gwyn, so he's the first one we've met, the first one we're going to fight. Okay, this is going well already. Always keep them in your sights, that's like Ornstein and Smo 101. Jump. Okay, that's fine. I thought that would happen. Something failed as usual. Oh, I didn't see who was there. cycles. Alright, well, do you say anything weird? You really are yeah, fun. Yeah. Um yeah. So am I not plus ten? I could have sworn that plus ten kills these knights in one hit. Shield the Silver Knights and Orlando. Flowing canal is carved deep into his face. The Silver Knights stayed behind in Orlando to defend the illusory goddess, and their shields are blessed with her divine protection. So that's a huge thing. So we know that Gwendolyn remained in Orlando, or we will con definitely confirm it, but it says that the, t they're defending an illusory goddess. As if she is not real. I mean, so... In this case, that is 100% accurate. Um, Guinevere, who stays here, is, uh, she left a long time ago. She went off and married some guy, and the person that is left here is not actually her. Shouldn't do this. Just want to make sure to get that. Oh, that was so close. Okay. 
Oh, good. I'm just just killing it right now. Oh, I'm single-handing. <laughs> Oops, that's a little bit. This is close. What? Why am I not hitting slow? What's the deal? Okay, Sid. <laughs> Sid needs some attention. Alright. Come on. Oh, I didn't see him doing that. Oh. Thought I dodged in time. All right. Oops, wrong direction to dodge. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. Lucky. Sometimes Ornstein gets, like, caught in a weird... You know, like, he'll... Zoop, zip around the room, and it'll just come up here quickly in front of you and hit you. So sometimes it's hard to dodge that. Ah, oh, <laughs> right into him. Don't run. Okay. Just healing at every chance here. Might as well not risk it. I have so little health comparatively. Oops. Just heal. <laughs> okay. Sucks when you got an itch on your nose. Oh, follow-up attack, don't greed. Okay, this is it. Okay, now we probably need some humanity. Okay, so quick to point out here, Smo dies, and then Ornstein comes and like puts his hand over Smo and kind of like absorbs his power or like his soul and you can see that when he absorbs his soul he grows massive so I believe that's why um, where's
this humanity. Just in case. Okay. He can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Especially with his attack where he like jumps back. That one. Oh, definitely shouldn't have used that. All right, it's close. Uh, yeah, so I should always, I don't know why I was just kind of rushing into that with no. Oh, do I not have any gold pine resin? Wow, I was gonna try, oh, duh. I'm just sitting here this whole time saying we should, we should be, Just put in great magic weapon. And then let us All right. to die here oh oh no ah <sighs> So 20, so I really don't have a ton to work with. I mean, it's not like I can wear a whole nother armor set and be like super protected from all this shit. So I'm just gonna, I could uh, wear the steel protection ring I don't need anything in particular here in terms of like this. So I don't need poise. I mean, boost defense is probably what I need here. Okay, and I still fast roll. Well, it's going to be hard to apply my great magic weapon, so I probably should just do it now. Even though... I'm going to waste some time on it. Because you can't do it when you get in the room, and then if you get behind a pillar, it's like, you know, you only have so much time. Maybe we could try to find a... Huh. I 
And that's the thing, you can't really buff for this fight, you gotta be patient. Ah, I dodged that. There he goes, he's stuck. Yep. Wow, that should have hit me. Okay, well this is... <laughs> okay, this is just... How much can I use my uh, Estus before we actually do any damage? I beat it on this one it would just be like <laughs> you know I choked I'm choking I'm throwing it's got two lengths of those one which is um, long one which is slow oh <laughs> Just get out of my way, guys. <sighs> I feel like I can't get a break during this one. It's so easy to hit Ornstein right now. Oh my god. I feel like I'm dodging like horribly right now. And this is yeah, I have three Estus now. Oh he's stuck. <sighs> yeah, I mean this is just I don't even want to waste humanity on this if I get to that was so lucky like that for people why like how did that that at least that first hit not hit smell Okay, just keep walking, and we can never do anything here. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Alright, we don't need to see this again. <laughs> like, I watched that, and I was like, okay, I gotta dodge it this time. Not that, I, that uh, I'm just gonna be making excuses. Okay, there's my Estus. <sighs> you can get Ornstein stuck in a wall. But I don't know how to do it very well. Kicked him great. I 
think it's with that move. Why did I not get hit by that? For as many, like, bad luck things, I'm getting good luck things. I mean, maybe not in this fight. Nope. Oh my god. I wonder if you can get him out of the boss room by the same token. Are you... Oh, ri <sighs> Pillars should protect you against that type of thing. I'm gonna waste all my humanity. And this is not even close. I dodged that. This is just me complaining, I apologize, but you know, this is a tense fight. Actually, I'm surprised that didn't actually do more damage. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Okay. Here we go. Soul of Orenstein and uh, and need some humanity, which I desperately need now. And we get the Leo Ring, which says boosts counterattacks and thrust weapons. So we know that Wolf and Hawk Ring are given to the Knights of Gwyn. We know, well, I suppose we wouldn't have necessarily known unless I mentioned it, but Ornstein is a, oh great, thanks for that now, now that I'm already beat him. Okay. One of the special rings granted the four Knights of Gwyn. The Leo ring belonged to Ornstein. Look at how many Estes I'm getting now that I've beaten it. This ring strengthens cut. Oh yeah, so it just says Ornstein the Dragon Slayer. So that's all it says. Are you joking? I got three Estes flasks there. All right, so Soul of Ornstein. Dragon Slayer Knight who guards the cathedral in the forsaken city of Anorlando. Special beings have special souls. Lord Gwyn granted this soul to his four most trusted knights. Giving souls away like crazy. So here we can see, I think this is since the opening cinematic, this is the first time we get to see Gwyn. A statue of him. And his sword. And then here we can see, again, a well-endowed, bountiful uh, uh, daughter. This is Guinevere. And there is a statue that's removed. So... We obviously have Gwyn, his two children, one of which was banished. But we know that there's a last born that is not Guinevere. Gwendolyn. So Gwendolyn is not represented in any way by this 
thing. And I think it's funny that even though they took down the Firstborn's uh, statue, that they did not erect a new one for Gwendolyn. So, yeah, we have a couple elevators here, very analogic elevators. We have a, a small one here. And we have a fat one here. So this one's for Smo. The other one's for Ornstein. Even though when the battle started, Ornstein came right here and jumped down. All right, let's make the most of this. Um, I'm just gonna go up with this. And in fact, we probably have enough souls to do something here. So let's do a quick little thing here. Up here, so the hero gives us a lot. I like what keeps on the last item you had there, but it's a little confusing when you try to like jump around the souls like this. Alright, let's see how many souls we can get here, and obviously I'm also going to have to jump right away to uh, to the fair maiden, fair lady, or whatever, uh, because I do not want to waste this humanity at all. As I've been showing myself to do. Um, Alright, let's see how many souls, or how many levels that gets us. All right, well now, let's claim our reward. Thou hast journeyed far, and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. There's always a message in here that says amazing chest ahead. Okay. I don't have... Oh, here we go. Okay. Had to buck the trend. Alright. Here's Guinevere. In the pose that we saw her in... Um, in her room. Or someone's room. Oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day your father is formed in obscurity, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. And beseech thee. Succeed Lord Gwyn, and inherited the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. O oh, chosen undead, thou hast journeyed far. So, she is a covenant associated with her, but we're gonna skip that because we're a chaos servant right now um so yeah sh again this is a very like this seems to be all put together for us where we're supposed to come here and like prove ourselves like it isn't just a happenstance like oh the lord vessel's here and this and that and blah 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 it's all you know she's saying you need to succeed lord gwyn and you know, essentially what they're asking us to do is to, you know, we acquire a lot of souls, we become very powerful, and then they want us to link the fire with our own powerful soul and become the new heir of fire and usher in another extended age of fire instead of going to the age of dark. Let's see what else she has to say. Since the day father is wounded Yeah, so since he left, I have awaited for a succeeder. I wonder why undead means that they're a fitting heir. 
a little bit of a new text so yeah I mean they are scared of the age of dark uh, because everything will be cold frigid and dead much like you know I mean fire is warmth life and all that so it makes sense that everyone wants to extend the age of fire please father's role thou should assume and inherit in the fire of our world thou shalt end in this eternal twilight and avert further undead sacrifices. King Seeker Pratt, the primordial serpent, shall guide thee. And I haven't mentioned here, but uh, she's another one who speaks in the ancient language. I mean, the ancient words, you know, she, he shall guide thee and, and all that stuff. Like, because she's, she's old. I mean, we know she's illusion, an illusion right now. She's an illusory goddess, and we will kind of go through that whole thing. But I gotta do plenty of things before I do that. Please. All right. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. It's interesting. She said that she, we gotta end this age of twilight, and yet, you know, if you look outside, there's a sun. So now we have a warp mechanic, which is much appreciated. But we have a few more things to take care of while we're here. Namely, you know what? I said that I would go to the fair lady so I wouldn't lose these humanity. I'm going to follow through on that, and maybe we'll get some new dialogue, I don't think so. But we can try. Getting pretty close to this episode here, I guess we'll end with Law Track. Um, let's see if... Uh... Oh my dear sister. Since that was so close at the end with the uh, orange sea and snow, I feel like uh, every little bit probably mattered. <laughs> the great magic weapon, the like, you know, five humanity I used. If I hadn't done any of that stuff, then we would have just had to keep doing it. That, it was funny because that was the one that I was saying, um, you know, if this is the one I win, it would be funny because <laughs> at first part it was just me getting kicked around like weird cycles and I just, I don't know, I was dodging weird. Wait up, see, I am happy, really. I have you, don't I? Nope. I wonder who she's hearing crying. I mean, I wonder if she can hear Quaylag. Like, I'm not, I mean, I don't think my character would be crying to her. I'll be with you. Goodbye, Quay, too. Yeah. Oh, hello, but don't neglect the fair lady. She needs I her haven't company. been. Below us lies the ruins of the legendary city of Isolith. There, the molten giant watches over the flame of chaos. Our fair lady and Mistress Quaylag fled from the ruins. I do not know the details, and I do not ask. So, yeah, the bed of chaos, the flame of chaos, whatever, is in Isolith. 
and uh, we saw that there was a way to go down here, which we haven't gone, that's where that is. And there's a molten giant that watches over it, which might indicate to us where the rest of the children of Izalith are. But we'll get to that eventually. Um, Worse than undead, yeah. but my fans. We get that. All right. So let's go immediately back to the chamber of the princess. The illusory princess. And let us do our thing with... And let us try to get, I think what's really important to keep in mind, by the way, because this is one of those things that is quick. So, um, keep in mind the way I'm dressed, right? So I have the tin banishment catalyst and the, uh, Okay, I gotta decode that. Um, and I have the the sealer's garb, and so it's really quick. But uh, we're gonna run into the final sealer. We we well, <laughs> it's funny we haven't met the one, the main one that you talk to in the game. But there's one in the game that we'll talk to, and then we found this one in Blight Town um, with some cool sorceries on them, and now. We are going to uh, find where the third one resides. Really? I'm usually uh, able to do that up there. It's weird. All right. Let's use the black eye orb and kind of do the same thing we would do if we were a dark moon blade. And now, there's where we fought. Um, seems like they haven't beaten, in their world, they haven't beaten. Hornstein and Smo yet, but if we see here, and again, I should have, uh, I should have, uh, that's a cool noise coming in from them. I should probably have uh, brought my binoculars, <laughs> but the person on the left does is wearing. Like the same, they not the same hat, but the same clothes. And in the right hand is the tin banishment catalyst. We won't be able to really look. I mean, if you catch a glimpse, you catch a glimpse. Well, look at you. I thought you were wiser, but I thought wrong. Just a terrible pity. Like a moth flittering towards. So I'm sure everyone has their own way of beating. Don't you agree? What track and whatever. Um, mine involves uh, coming up to these corners and then just attacking what track. And running. And actually, I did not even think about it, but I do not have healing. So, I shouldn't have been so careless with my, uh... Ugh. My careless with my hits. Uh, do I have any more humanity? I mean, that's probably something I can do. Okay, just have the one. I guess I could do the twins, but... Okay, 
Okay, let's get far enough away and uh, <laughs> use this humanity. I know this is gripping. Uh, this is gripping. Uh, this is gripping gameplay, but you know, I can't help it if they made of poor, uh, <laughs> poor fight here. She's got half of his health. And we could also try to take these guys out, but. Come on, my track. Uh. Where is he? He does have hush on his feet, which I don't know. Why he has that. Oh. <laughs> uh. A kick and a or a miss and a kick. Yeah, yeah, I always do this. I never rest at the bonfire. In future games, this gets solved, but it, uh, you have to do it manually. And, uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long episode. Apologize. You know, the game gets harder now. And it's, you know, it's hard to give a casual lore through when there's just, I mean, I've lost so many souls. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, you know, it's not gonna be the best uh, for me. But I mean, if I'm in that position where, you know, it's the matter of a humanity or whatever, I'm gonna gonna equip this just in case. Although I will try to be less wanton. Okay, I forgot. Here for a bit. All right, might as well uh, get this all worked out just so that we can. Let's get a little bit more damage in. Oh, really? Okay, I was like, what? Of course, he's not there. Oh, <laughs> they're stuck. What is that noise? It's coming from them. Huh, are they stuck? Can I... Can I just take this guy out? Good. Glad I kicked. Oh, great. What happened here? Why does that person not have his 10 banishment kills? Oh, there it is. He's trying to parry me. Wow. 
Why is this guy not using the tin banishment catalyst? It's so weird. That's close. I think this guy's almost dead. The band or the guy using the wooden. I don't know what happened to, uh... Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened to, uh... Oh, Trek, man. important also that that was a guy and the other uh, thing that they said the other person that was the the, the people that fl the keepers of the seal they said the one was a woman so that's a man so that probably isn't her like that probably isn't her in another state and we're wearing the same armor she is Okay, so we got the Firekeeper Soul, the Ring of Favor and Protection, five humanity, which is great because I've been wasting humanity like a boss. And we got a souvenir of reprisal. And there is a set out here that we're gonna want to grab. So we're gonna grab it and read it all together and then we'll end this episode and go on to the next stage of this wonderful lore journey. But first, we have to quit the game. Well, I'll be I'm wrong on all types of things. So now we get this Helm of Favor, Embraced Armor of Favor, Gauntlets of Favor, Leggings of Favor. And we're going to learn as much as we can about La Trek and another interesting goddess. Let's just, you know... Oops, not ready yet. Okay, so first thing is Firekeeper Soul. Soul of the Ash Maiden, Firekeeper of Firelink Shrine. A Firekeeper's soul is a draw for humanity and held within their bosoms below just a thin layer of skin are swarms of humanity that writhe and squirm. Was the Ash Maiden locked in this dark prison for some transgression, or by her own will? I think it's neither, but it's interesting question. Alright, and then we got the souvenir of reprisal. Souvenir taken for subduing the guilty. Blood drained shrunken ear. Souvenir taken for subduing the guilty. The knights called the blades of the dark moon punish the guilt-soaked offenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. The earless corpses of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods. Such is the eternal mandate of the dark sun. Yeah. So, I mean, the Dark Sun, Gwendolyn, you know, we'll read all about him later. Um, but he was born probably deformed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this is getting to a whole nother thing. Um, but, yeah, Dark dark Moon, the opposite of moon sunlight, is, you know, what Gwyn's child is, you know, doing so it's 
Once we get into D Gwendolyn's story, I have a lot to say about where I think uh, Gwendolyn came from. Anyway, ring of favor and protection. The Fap Ring. A ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful beauty. This ring boosts its wears HP, stamina, and max equip load, but breaks if ever removed. And then... The Helm of Favor. Helm of Lutrec, the Embraced, <clears throat> representing the goddess Fina's love. During his solitude, he forsook everything, for he believed in the goddess's love for him. The goddess's arms wrap around it, as if to embrace the wearer. You can actually see that. So yeah, Lautrec was worshipping a god named Fina that you know Lautrec is from Kareem and Fina is a god we don't hear about anywhere else except for Lautrec so I don't know if that indicates that Lautrec is only the one doing this or if Fina is related to other people like Velka that are related to Kareem or not but uh, it's certainly a interesting thing to, to throw in there and and uh, Fina does a lot for us if we decide to wear the fat ring or whatever so but uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that this playthrough because I have so many things that I wanna wear that I think it'll be better just to do something else but uh, that's it for this episode getting done with Anne Orlando and now we're gonna go and try to get the next pieces of the puzzle going have a good one bye